let's see the things to do after installing Ubuntu 17.10. The first thing, you need to update your system. You can use software updater GUI tool for that and or you can use command line just open a terminal and fire up the famous command sudo app update and sudo app update if you don't do it right after installing your system um, you might face some problem installing software especially in ubuntu you might see that you don't have plenty of software available and if you try to install them you don't find them in software center or repositories and yeah there are issues so the first thing update your system the second thing is go into software and updates and enable more repositories apart from those four here go to the other software and enable canonical partners doing this will allow you to have more softwares in the software center this is quite important uh, if you are not going to search for software everywhere so the next thing is install the media codecs just use this tiny little command don't be afraid of the command line just use this tiny command and you will have mp3 and many other media codecs installed so that you can enjoy your music and videos as you want once you do that you are basically ready to play with your system so the next thing is to find this and install the software you need you can search for software and install them right from this beautiful software center you will see you will actually notice that there are like two application of the same name like here these are like the normal and the snap version of the same software I prefer the normal version because the snap version will require you to have an Ubuntu one account this is bizarre but this is how it works in Ubuntu I don't like it but can we do so you can find more software just browse through them in the software center or you can also download software for uh, Ubuntu from the software vendors repos uh, website for example if I have to install Chrome, I'll just Google for it because I know that Chrome actually provides binary files for Ubuntu. So just download this .deb .dev file, which is used for install. It's just like .exe in Windows. Just double click on it, and it will open an Ubuntu software center, and you can install software like this. So you have seen two ways to install software. There is also Installing for source code, but uh, I don't recommend doing that unless you are a pro You don't really need to go that way So we have seen How to update your system now we have seen how to install a software Whichever software you need you can find it and then let's get familiar with the gnome desktop environment Which is the default? starting from open to 17.10 you can just play around with the with the system you can just know where the things are um, it's a bit different from unity but not a lot because uh, well like dash you can also search for software here just type and then you can see the installed applications and files and other stuff here and there's a unity like launcher on the left it's called dash doc actually dash to doc and you can add the running software to the favorites so that even if you quit it it will be available you can remove the unnecessary software from the doc so that you won't have to see them again and again and you're not going to use it so this is one thing and you can also press super key and then press the numbers and you'll see that you can actually have a shortcut here so that's one way to actually use them if you're you know kind of a fan of shortcut which I am it saves time uh, so here you can search for the settings so we are going to see the system settings basically this is 
most of the things which you are going to need to tweak or use your system you can change the background to a newer wallpaper like this you can also change the wallpaper for the lock screen which I cannot show you right here but you can do that you can add your own picture and in the background the same you can add your own picture or you can add a background in simple colors like this it's it looks good but uh, I prefer the default one more than this one so and then we're going to see the dock this these are the default dock settings which you can change so there's this auto hide the dock which as the name suggests is not really gonna hide your dock aut automatically like it was in Ubuntu launcher what it does is it will hide the dock when the windows are overlapping quite honestly I don't it, see it makes much sense but apparently Ubuntu thought it was kind of useful of course you can change the size of the uh, the icons in the in the dock and you can also change the position of the dock to the bottom if you like some people like it at the bottom I don't know about if someone likes it on the right but well, whatever suits your boat uh, and then notification search tiny configuration stuff which I'm pretty sure you're not gonna use them a lot uh, you can actually link your Google account so that your calendar and other information are synced with the system this could be useful for you privacy options and few more options here and there which which is up to you if you're going to explore them in power well uh, I always prefer to actually not have my Bluetooth running so you can do the same and save some battery and also it's good for security purposes and also I changed this to never so that my screen doesn't lock automatically I don't like that to enter my password every five minutes and then there's the devices so you can have keyboard settings mouse and other uh, in the mouse and touchpad you can change the the scrolling so edge scrolling or two finger scrolling or other natural scrolling which uh, whichever way you prefer to scroll actually so you have few other things which I'm not sure you're gonna change them a lot but no harm in seeing them uh, I forgot to show you one thing in there maybe not okay we'll see that in some time so here is date and time everything here okay you can you change the user and profile picture if it really makes any difference default applications for some of the, the applications and yeah I wanted to show you actually one thing and that's called nightlight feature uh, you might have seen it in iPhone and other devices these days this actually dims the screen light and changes to a bit yellow so that it filters the blue light which helps you to sleep better and it also reduces uh, strain on your eyes at night you know when you're using computer um, well that's more or less about GNOME settings uh, if you want further settings changes like more advanced changes you can use a tool called GNOME Tweaks you can find it in the software center and you can install it in like a couple of minutes and more, even less than that and then you when you see and what you'll see in GNOME Tweaks is pretty much the same stuff which you already saw in system settings maybe a few more options like changing the icons on the desktop and things like that tiny things but they actually are uh, they provide more more option than the default system settings what it actually is useful is for installing themes 
which we're going to see in the next section uh, it also gives you access to extensions but it doesn't work quite well at the moment so tiny stuff if you really want to dig deeper in it like keyboard and mouse and things like that power stuff not a lot of power settings here you can also change the startup application settings top bar uh, you can display the battery percentage which is quite uh, useful in my opinion and then some other windows animation stuff and shortcuts things which uh, some advanced or intermediate users prefer to have like hot corners for quick access stuff this let's see how to change themes here uh, we're going to see my favorite uh, theme called pop os it is actually from system 76 which is a linux laptop manufacturer they sell ubuntu laptops and they have come up with the idea of their own linux distribution based on ubuntu which is it's not really a linux distribution it's just a modified glorified version of ubuntu which is very pleasant on the eyes the themes are really really nice they give a nice nice change to your desktop we're going to see how to do that um, so just use these three commands to install the themes so you add a new repository and then update the system so that the system knows that there's uh, there are new softwares uh, available and then it uh, you can install it using sudo apt install the general way of installing it uh, if this is one way to do that if you want more themes and icons you can actually go to gnome look website which gives you more icons and themes let's just see that how to do that so search for gnome look and here it is you will have plenty of eye candy for your for your system i advise to search for gtk3 themes so there's this new ant theme which is getting quite popular popularity recently so i'm i'm gonna show you how to install that uh, let's go to the files and download the files and we will use it in a few moments uh, let's first change the themes to pop os so start gnome tweaks just go to go to the application menu and install it sorry start it and then there are this applications change it to pop and you will see that the appearance of the application window has been changed we're not going to change it because uh, we're going to change the icons to pop and you can see the difference right away looks better looks a lot better uh, there's also option to change gnome shell which will change the top border um, but this feature doesn't work really well you need to have a separate extension and then you can change it but you might end up with an unusable system afterwards so this is why i'm not going to cover it at least at least uh, at this moment so let's install our ant themes just press ctrl h to show the hidden folders and create a new folder name dot themes dot themes actually and similarly you can also create a dot icons for icons so let's uh, just extract the theme which we downloaded the ant theme and copy the entire folder and go back to home and to the themes directory which we had created and paste it here that's it start gnome tweaks again and you will see that the newly added theme is there so you can change it looks better than the default one but uh, in my opinion not as good as pop pop is my favorite i so like it 
and when the pop os uh, linux distribution comes in a few days i'll i'm going to use that and review that uh, the next thing is to install tlp this tiny little tool will help to, uh, you to have a better battery life and performance and reduce overheating in your laptop uh, just install it and oh, i don't know why it asked for the email configuration it didn't used to but it asked for that and i'm not going to provide it so no configuration and just install it and just start it no need to reboot anything and you might notice uh, some uh, some performance improvement uh, the next thing is to switch to jar from wayland uh, some applications are not working very well on wayland so you can just click on the gear icon the ubuntu by default is wayland and ubuntu on zorg is for zorg of course so you can just switch like this actually i found that some applications are not working very well on wayland and despite that wayland is the future if, if you find that some applications are having issues with that i advise to just fall back on the reliable jaws and then there are infinite possibility to use your system to install plenty of other stuff softwares and tweaks and whatnot so why don't you tell me in the comments the things which you like to do after installing ubuntu see you next time stay tuned subscribe like bye bye